What's up, guys? This podcast was brought to you by Skinny Prints and Fades. They are a custom vinyl printing service for all your clothing needs. Uh, they can also give you a fresh fade. Having watched this guy grow and watching our content from the beginning, it's awesome to have him as our first up sponsor. That is Skinny Prints underscore Fades. That's their Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description. Enjoy the podcast. Sweet. Welcome back to the podcast. One, three, eight. <laughs> Highlander number 285, is that right? 285. Johnny Nadi, what's up, brother? What's up, my brother? What are you not to, G? Nah, not much at all, really. Just just put a footy, uh, family, that's about it, really. Just getting that cycle going. <laughs> on repeat, on repeat. Oh, a bit of coffee dates with the boys, you know how it goes. Oh, not the coffee. How's training been, G? Yeah, Nah, training's been good. Um, compared to last year, I guess, um, they've cut back on uh, loads on, on the boys. So, like, yeah, just enjoying it way more this year. Hey, what do you mean? Like, they've, they've lessened the running and shit or? Uh, yeah, more, more yeah, about running and uh, gym-wise. So, they've, I think maybe they've cut maybe a gym session out this this year, which is, um, I mean, you know, I love the gym, so... <laughs> I thought you must be missing a gym session. Oh, I just didn't want to say anything. Eh? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> hey, you could definitely tell, bro. You definitely <laughs> tell. Um, gee, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, but, nah, those hey, who don't, who might not know you. Hey, uh, everyone out there um, on the podcast, my name is the Chalk Man. Um, <laughs> Schlick a snack out. <laughs> They're all good, they're all good. <laughs> where you play for? Where you from? Oh, um, nah, actually, Jordan Nuriki, um, live down in Dunedin, uh, play for the uh, Highlanders and also Otago Rugby. Um, I'm 23 years old and uh, I'm a low-key uh, mechanic on, on the D-Lo. Brothers or nah? No, I did. I did. A, I did a course, but um, I didn't finish it. Maybe my um, apprenticeship, and then I'll be a mechanic. <laughs> yep. so if anyone out there my needs car. some, <laughs> anyone out there needs some advice on some stuff about cars, hit the chalk up <laughs> ASAP. I guarantee you, this photo will fuck up your car. Do not. I guarantee you, I'll fix it. I'll make it fast, and I'll make it look good. Gee, um. Tell, tell me about your um tell us about your upbringing, G. Like where you came from, because you were born in Fiji, eh? Yeah, I was born in Fiji. Um, I moved over when I was about one, though, so like I didn't really, you know, wasn't really brought up in Fiji. Um, straight to Wanganui. I uh, was brought up in Wanganui. Uh, I went to went the primary school. Um, secondary school, I was at like City College, Wanganui City College, did a did a few, uh, did my lag there for a bit, and then on my last year school, I went to Fielding Egg, and um, yeah, so I guess that's where my footy uh, started properly, I guess, and uh, from there made it to like the bar bars, and then made twenties after that, but yeah, and then yeah, rugby just kicked off after that, but pretty lucky June, pretty blessed June actually. Gee, do you remember? Um, the first like, combo you had with the Landers? Uh, yeah, actually, it was, it was quite funny. It was like, um, it was my second year in the, my second year at the Sevens, and they called, oh, they, they emailed, oh, they, so they wanted to see me, oh, they wanted to sign me for 2020. And I was like, yeah, I'm keen, I'm keen. And then um, it's funny, it was like, it was on a, it was like during like a gym session in the Sevens, when I was at with the Sevens in Turing. And then all of a sudden, this, um, I think Drew uh, Tavita and Bora got injured. Yeah. And um, so they needed a winger. So then they like replied, like, this was just one email after the other. And they're like, oh, actually, would you mind coming up right now? Or would you mind coming down right now? And I was like, I, know. I was like, wow. And then I was like, Shh. my agent was like, oh, up to you. Like, if you want to, if you want to go down, you can. I'll just, I'll try to get you out of the seven. So I was like, oh, yo, I'm keen. I'm keen. So like, this was halfway through the gym session. I'm like, messaging. 
And I tell the boys, I'm like, gee, I might be off. Hey, I might be off. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, gee, the Highlanders want someone right now. And like, this could be my opportunity. So like, um, I went like an awkward as went to the coach. I was like, oh, can I have a word with you? And then I ended up telling him like, oh, frap. Um, the Highlanders have told me like they need someone right now. And then they're offering me a two-year deal after that. And he was like looking at me, but he was stunned. They like, he couldn't say anything. He was looking at me like, what the fuck? And well, I think we just, the team got named to go to Vancouver then. And I was just like, oh, and I was in the team and I was just like, oh, but this is going to just stuff me up anyway. Um, the next day, it didn't happen. Like, he called uh, the New Zealand Sevens department and they're like, nah, he can't, he can't leave because his contract, stuff like that. So I was like, oh, oh so you didn't go there. Uh, I thought I was going to be in the. Yeah, 2019, yeah. So I was supposed to, halfway through that year, I was supposed to go, they offered me to go to the Landers, yeah. But because oh, I was someone to see them there. No one knows about that story, actually, to be honest. True. Snip that. What's going on? This? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was, like, it was so, like, fuzzy because, like, my, my agent called me. He's like, oh, check your emails. So I checked my email and it was like, 21 oh, i was like 2021 20, and then like bro it was just back to back like another email coming in and it was like i need oh we need you now if you if you're available to come over i was like yeah i was like yeah right. okay then i'll come then we offered at the sevens uh also oh, because i still had my contract for that 2019 yeah yeah also we just like, yeah, okay. but like they, yeah i was like bro like you know you always want to play super Mm. And I was like, that was like my main goal. So I guess when when that came, I was like, wait, this is my one opportunity. I better just, you know, take it. Um, and then like, oh, after that, when we came back from Vegas or on the way to like Vancouver or something like that, that's when the Sevens offered me another contract for the next year. Yeah. But I was like, I'm getting out of here. Like, you know, <laughs> I was like, oh, too much running here for my liking. Man. Josh man got a melt out for you. Bro, Ovili was telling me about um, trainings and he was saying that, like, he never experienced anything like that sevens training, dude. Like, he couldn't stand after sessions and that. No, nah, well, I, like, I made, like, mushrooms grow on the grass. Dude. That's how many times <laughs> I yacked on that field, dude. Like, there was mushrooms with my name on it. It was crazy. Like, but my first, like, week, I think I spewed, like, every training. Like, it was that hard. Sure. And I was, I was like, it was, it was, it was all right, but, like, it did test character i guess it just makes character real but that was good it was good uh experience playing um sevens i mean like it was fun and like you know you, you enjoy it when you travel the world and doing something that you love but yeah you can only do it for some of this it's a um it's a pretty silly lifestyle on the mountain as well eh? yeah well that's exactly it like i was like you know i was like it is it is a nice place you know and then yeah. the sevens is just even kind of, uh, just kind of balances it out in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I imagine. I'm going to give you one opportunity here. Stitch up Vili. Some story about him that no one knows, Do Stitch him up on the potty. Oh, yeah. So, like, so, because we're, you know, we're, we're pretty young and, um, yeah, um, his, um, his parents, um, they had, like, a family laptop. Because back in that day, you know, you just had one laptop for the whole family. Yeah. And um, apparently, like, I don't know, like, he must have been watching some, you know, some porn on, on the <laughs> laptop. And he must have, you know, he probably didn't delete his history and stuff. And uh, on the weekend, like, we always go pick him up. And uh, one, this one weekend, uh, we went over, like, some of the boys. It was, like, two of us. And we went over to pick him up. And um, his mum and dad were, like, like sitting in the living room and like we're like oh, bro, oh the chalk man was loud you know like rocking into the house like go let's go to town like and then like his parents were like oh can you guys come into the living room and i was like oh oh yeah okay and i like i was oh shit, this must be serious so like and bills are sitting there bills are sitting there you know like head down and like a bit like but tears <laughs> coming down his eye like down his eye i'm like gee, 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 what happened here i'm like you know i'm a bit starstruck i'm like oh 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 Shit, what's happening here? And like, those are like head down, and I look at him like, what's, what, what's wrong? Like, Just listen. So I was like, all right. And his mum and dad, like, his mum was like, oh, uh, like, on the laptop, um, we've caught, we've caught Villamoni, um, watching, watching some pornographic things, and um, 
he said that uh you all all of you three have been watching it together. I'm like, oh no, bro. I'm like, oh no, 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 not me. I thought you like, nah, it's him by himself. Like it's a twin <laughs> thing. No, 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 he's on his own. Like, this is not me. I'm like, get me out of here. They reckon they and then like, you know, I, I fully like, bro, I like jumped up and said, no, nah, hell no, 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 that's not me. <laughs> I don't watch anything with him and that guy. Like, like no, 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 no. Nah. And then they end up quite telling my parents, so like, I go home and I get the same lecture at home. And I'm like, I don't <laughs> watch it with any of them. Like, but, yo, that's uh, that's the Vils story. But, so it was, it was funny because like how it was like, how it came out was, it was like the church laptop. So like the virus, the virus took over while like the church was going. So like it was on the project. Nah. So, like, that, so like, you know, that virus, so the virus took over and then so like, they took it over to some guy and like, you know, he checked the thing and then oh. and it came out. <laughs> there you all see. Bills was, try, Bills was trying to stitch me up in the bro. I was like, gee, 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 nah, this was Bills on his own. Bro, this is karma, G. This is so much longer later, but this is karma, bro. This is going off. You just went to fielding yeah. together, eh? Yeah, so I, uh, he went to fielding. I think he did three years at fielding, but I only did one year. Oh, yeah. I think he did three, three or four, I don't know. Yeah. So he went a bit earlier than me. How how did you find fielding? Yeah, bro, I loved it. Eh? Like, mm-hmm. From like a school that doesn't really take rugby seriously to a school that, you know, you get like, you'd probably know the feeling like when like teachers like look down at you, but like the students look up at you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, these guys are first of team, like you know, when you come late, oh, these are the first of team, like give them a note, so citation and stuff. But and then, like, students really like look up to you, like, but like, yeah, it was, it was pretty mean. It's like, I was like, explaining to my sisters that, like, it's like, you know, like, you have like these girls, like, these like a fan club, they're like, you know, say your name and like, you know, scream and like make posters of you and stuff. Like, <laughs> did you pretty funny, did you bro, yourself like, the chocolate at school or what? Nah, that was my twenties. That was our twenties year, you know. We're not. Have you ever you heard that story? I don't know why they called you Chuck. I just thought we. Were... Oh, bro, it's a story. Oh, this is another story. So, so can I say this? Should I say it over the yes. <laughs> So when we went over to Georgia, when we went over to Georgia, um, I was helping uh, Motti. Motti, was it Motti? The the the. Motti, yeah. Yeah, it was multi, yeah. So I was helping him out and um, I was helping him take these bags and like I was looking and obviously there was like some pretty receptionists at the front desk and like Motti was like walking his bags like and he had a single on, he was tensing out it. He was like, Jonah, look at this, look at these ladies looking at me, like, you know, tensing, walking past the bus. And I was like, okay, okay. So I ran up to my room, I get my singlet on, run back down, line, I'm, real, I'm holding these bags, like tensing up and like walking to the bus. And um, anyway, I like, there was like something happened. Like, so they were losing, they lost this bag. So one of the, I think it was Damon, he lost one of the bags, the physio bags, and he was trying to track it down. So he asked one of the receptionists, did you see anyone move this bag? And um, so then they were like, oh, oh, it was that, that little, that little chocolate man. <laughs> and like, whoa, I just lost it. Because I was walking past and they were pointing at me. And I was like, gee, that is my name, the chocolate man. <laughs> the chocolate just stuck man. it from, from then, but they just thought it was funny because Kim kept calling me. Kim Kim kept calling me the whole time we're in Georgia, and then it just stuck. And because Corey Brown was like our tech coach or something, he brought it to a target, and then from then everyone was just calling me the chalk man. So just just, yeah. It's only chalk. Just claimed it. You know, so it's been yeah. the chalk since then. <laughs> Um, do you remember your, um, of course you fucking remember it, but your Landers debut? Oh, yeah, 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 the shark, yeah, Sharks round one. Um, yeah, it was pretty, yeah, that was, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, that was probably, probably one of the, one of the hardest games I've ever played, actually. Um, in terms of like, their boys are so big and I guess our game plan was to kick all the time and I was always the rabbit. Oh, oh, so I was running, running. It was like, <laughs> it was like funny because like one time they scored a try, I think I might have run, run to try to like you know, um, push them to the side, and then I I forgot that I had to go for the kickoff. Like 
that was our plan for me to do another rabbit on our cook-off. I was like, yeah. wow, I boxed it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was, um, yeah, that was definitely, a, you know, and then, you know, got the easy, um, I mean, like we lost that game, but no, it was a good experience, I guess. Was it a good feel? Like it was a good. Was it here or there? It was uh, here in Dunedin, but like we had no zoo because of the Masters games we were playing. Oh, yeah. It was gut old, bro. All the boys were gutted because, like, yeah, most of us debuted together, so. Um, yeah, oh, no. Nah, yeah. Of course you got the zoo there for the debut. Holy. Yo, so it was, bro. Yeah, no, nah, it was the Masters games, bro. People that, you know, just the, just the old battlers just cheering us on. I mean, like, it was all right. Always want the zoo, eh? Gee, run us through that Hattie last week. The hat trick, most of it was probably me just putting the ball down, really. Um, yeah. Getting other boys. Um, I don't know. Uh, my f- the first one. Oh, bro, that first one. I know Jonah Lowe was so quick, like, legit. I actually thought I was going to get caught. Um, oh, shit. Run down, actually. Um, but he's, yeah, bro, he's rapid, eh, like. And I looked at the, I reviewed it, and I was like looking at him, and he like looked at the ref like a couple of times. I was like, bro, I'm, all, I'm so happy he looked at the ref because I reckon if he had his head down, he would have mowed me down. But um, that one I was just like running to, I don't know, like if it came a bit closer, and if I was in the 22, I think I would have switched stands and tried to fend or just corner flagged it again. Yeah, um, yeah, that was smart though, Jay. What you did? Yeah, well, I had yeah, a you could. Really. Yeah, yeah, well, because I knew it was Dewey. Like, yeah, have you played it? Have you played it? The the yeah, FMG? Because yeah. it's always Dewey. Yeah. There's always like, even if it's sunny, it's always like a bit Dewey. So, like, I knew that, um, yeah, that, that bit of weakness would uh, slide me across the line, which was, um, yeah, which worked in my favor. Hit the ground and swim. <laughs> yeah, but imagine that, eh? And if it was trying, I just like, you know, just to, just to stop. <laughs> You would have well, uh, gone from it's only chalk to it's only bots. <laughs> it's only bots, 100%. I think I would have subbed myself out. <laughs> All of a sudden, the chalk bears just subbed them out. How about, um, fuck, what, the, what was going through your head when you when you <laughs> ran it straight up the gut there, Brad Webber, G? Uh, that was oh, the right, right. I've seen in a long time, bro. No, nah, so, so... <laughs> It's funny because I know he's fast and I was a bit, you know, I was a bit fatigued there. Like, it got me, like, I just ran into, like, ran into that gap thinking that I was going to get tackled. So it was kind of a surprise that I went through. Yeah. So when I, we went, when I went through, I was like, what do I do now? <laughs> and then I seen Brad Webb and I was like, gee, this guy's going to, like, at least chop me if I'm running, like, on the side. So I was like, bro, like, and I'm too tired. I was like, low-key fatigued. I was too tired to like step or anything. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll try like bunt him. Like, you know, I was just like, oh, maybe I'll try bunt him. You know, yeah, just, yeah. just give it a go. But all of a sudden, like, it happens. And I'm like, oh, so what do I do now? And I see Sean Wonder and I'm like, oh, surely I'll try bunt <laughs> this guy off. And then I'm like, no, 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 I'm being stupid. So I try to put a fin on. <laughs> I try to put a fin on. And then like, yeah, and then Shannon, I see Shannon late last minute. And, just give him a wee offload, but um, oh, yeah, no, legit, like going like that was supposed to be. If if Bray Weber wasn't there, I think I would have gunned it or like gave him my all to the corner. But yeah, he's, I just know he's real rapid, so um, he's good, yeah, there's no other way. Really. Yeah, that was good, bro. That was me. Um, what, what, what's what do you what's it like playing with um fellas like like Nug and that, bro? Oh, it's it's um. Uh, yeah, it's real um, surreal actually. Like um, in my last year of first fifteen, because he went to Fielding Egg, one of the games he came back and he did waterboy. He waterboyed us, but that back then he was all black. And yeah. I was probably, like, I'm pretty sure he said something um, in our uh, just before the game. I was like, fuck. Hopefully, you know, I don't even really think that I'd play with him one day. Yeah. Like, to play with him now, and I'm like, I like. I remember that one photo. I still have that photo. I'm like, gee, that one photo, you know, it like speaks. I don't know. It just it just makes you think, you know, like uh, if you put your mind to it, you, you know, you can achieve a lot of things. Oh, that's and, cool. um, play, yeah. Playing with him now is just, bro, it's unreal. Like he's so fast and his, and his pass is so accurate. Like you really see him do errors like in the game and um, at training. Like he's so hard on himself. Like, 
he thinks, well, oh, because he knows his past, he like thinks his past is bad, but it's good for us. Like, you know, it's that type of, for me, it's like unreal, but to him, it's like average. He's got high standards, eh? Tough. Um, yeah, so yeah, he definitely has high standards for his passes. And, but you see it though, like he, he's the first person in the gym, he's the last person out. Like, it's crazy how, how he, yeah, yeah, how his work rate and, and how you see it firsthand because, like, like, most people don't see that. Yeah. What, what we us passing so it's definitely um unreal like, you know you, you definitely want to become someone like that but what sort of approach are they taking with um for Lau? like uh yeah not sure but for Lau, i think yeah because i think they're trying to manage um nugs nugs minutes at the moment so i think it works well with for Lau, mm. where he's going to be like half games or forty minute games and stuff. I mean like thirty minute games more than, you know, more than the the five or the six that they used to get usually. Yeah, yeah. Like most of the time, you know, Nug would like finish a game and like the half the reserve halfback wouldn't even jump on. So Yeah, so I think that's what they're doing this year. I think they're just trying to manage him since he's not since he's not as young as he was beforehand. Yeah, has he has um I've seen something that Falau might be getting some interest around the around the um, country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has he has had a few around. Like, I think most of most um, Super Rugby teams have like offered him something. Yeah, and, wonder, um, yeah. it's interesting. Like, I wonder if he's gonna stick with the you know learn learn off the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, well, that's exactly it. That's what um, some of the boys are saying. Like, you know, would you want to learn off the best or or play against the best? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, in that in that way. So um, it's just up to him, really. Like what he wants to do, and yeah, it's just, I feel like yeah, he's in a sticky situation where like he'll learn so much from from now. Like I bet he he's already learned a lot from him. Um, yeah, just being able to, I don't know, like, yeah, it's free spirit for him, really. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's, um, yeah. what's the, what's the lifestyle in Dunners like, bro? Ah, uh, lifestyle down here. Ah, uh, we're usually the boys. There's like a, you know, the golf, the golf boys, mm. um, the coffee boys, and then you got the surf boys, like the boys that go surfing. But like, that's like a. And then, the, and then you got the fishing crews, like the fishing crew boys. Uh, it's like Joshua and him. They fish, bro. They fish for seaweed. <laughs> They're fishing for fish. I'm telling you, bro. They they bought some fishing rods the other day, like camping chairs. GG, you're wasting money, do you? Catching nothing. But um, yeah, so we've got this like new fishing crew, but like, you know, like it's uh, now the weather, the weather's turned, so like it's not as good as it was beforehand. Yeah. So like right now, it's so bad. That's probably why my Wi Fi is playing it. Like, it's just <laughs> bad weather, you know, it's real bad, making my dial up play up. But like, yeah, like it's just the usual, really. Like, unless you're like me and just go to the uni and do some study and I guess just try to develop yourself as a player and as, as a father. Hmm. Yeah, you'd know that, you'd know that 100%. But yeah, uh, no, nah, it's, um, yeah, not much really to do, really. But, if you're a footy player, like you can't really enjoy the, the student life because you're not a student. And um, yeah, you get tempted, I guess. You always get tempted, but nah, yeah. yeah just have... Here's a bit of a um, thing I heard, uh, if, if you can answer. I don't know if it's true or not, but there's, there's a thing going around that the Landers have uh, like a motto kind of, like a piss up front up motto, motto like if you're going to piss up, like you turn up the next day and you fucking train or that like you is that true? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, it is to a point where, like, because dinner you know house. So most days, or oh, most after games, we, you know, the captains have the last say. Where like, if you like, you can go out or yeah. enjoy enjoy a beer. But like by Monday, you know, you should be. Yeah. We shouldn't have like trash bags. Like you, you know, everyone should be. Everyone should have energy in their gym session. Yeah. And no one should pick you up. So yeah, I guess in a way, yeah, we do have that mind like I mean that environment where like they do let us be free out of rugby or have fun and then by Monday we should be like fizzing to in, the, in our gym sessions. Bro, I love that too. Yeah well you know who's leading that big putty putty oh, <laughs> who's leading it dude putty in there putty out G <laughs> hey, he's the winner boy that's my boy big P 
Bro, what, what, has, um, has the ABs ever had, to, had a yarn to you? Nah, Jack. Nah, Jack. Nah, no way. AB7s. Uh, he's going back or what? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I think I've done my leg there. Um, nah, so nah. Could nah, be. nah. You, what, what's your thoughts on, like, the potential of it? Because like, you're playing pretty well, bro. Like, all it takes is oh. to a few games and yeah. you well. Yeah, well, that's, that, that's, that's the challenge, I guess, is uh, for me is, you know, I have, I have one good game, but then, like, the challenge is to keep having good games, really. Like, having, yeah. you know, I've set the benchmark and now i just got to keep playing at that high, high pay, oh, high, yeah, really. At that, at that benchmark, really. So, yeah, for me, it's just, I don't know, just not overthinking it in a way, I guess. For me, it's just having fun. I don't really think too ahead. I don't really have goals or, yeah, like goals like that. I'm just, you know, I, I'm just happy to be in this environment, play every week or most weeks. Like, I'm trying to just make the 23 or make the starting team, and that's how it usually goes for me. So, yeah, who's Who's a, who's a we hidden gem and down on the landers at the moment that probably that people probably don't really like sort of know about yet, but are going to you reckon they're going to soon? Ah, hidden gems. Um, Sam Gilbert. Oh yeah. Yo, like he was unfortunately got injured. I think maybe on the second game. Um, he's he's on, but he's he's coming back from injury now, and he's just. I think he started training fully with us today. I mean, running around with the boys. Um, freedom, if he gets a shot, he could he could potentially, you know, blow up. Full time. Um, and Tom, like you know, he's he's just come on the scene like his first year of minor ten, and then his um he's because he's injury cover for for Sam at the moment. So you know, like if he gets his chance, I guess just needs to take it and uh, because he is a big boy, but he squatted like two thirty the other day. Yesterday, oh, oh, two thirty. Oh, I was like, wow. Cold was like, holy. Yeah, oh, yeah no, he's a big boy, or freedom. Um, talk talk to me about um becoming a dad. You touched on it before, but what's it been like? A bit crazy now. How old? Oh. Yeah. Uh, he's ten months. He's ten months. He just turned ten months uh, yesterday. Um, nah, it's been un- oh yeah, it's, it's been unreal, really. Like I don't know you, you kind of dream of it, um, and especially like looking at like um, old Super Rugby games where like the players go and like get their child and like you know they hold them while like a presentation is going, or like you know they're carrying them around and signing things like. And then now it's like me, so like now I'm living yeah. what I used to want. So. Um, yeah, it's real, I don't know, it's just the moment, like, you, you cherish, really, like, I try to get a photo every game um, with, with my boy, um, but, um, yeah, no, nah, I'm just loving it, like, especially, like, when I come back home and I'm, like, tired, and then, I don't know, his, like, presence just kicks, like, another, like, it's, like, caffeine, really, like, and then I'm, like, happy and all, and, like, playing with him and stuff, but, yeah, just can't wait till I see him, like, and he's, because he's not really walking at the moment, can't wait till he's walking, and, I guess we can do like more things together, like around Mosgill. You can just stare at them for hours, eh, bro? And like they're not even. Bro, it's great. Hundred percent, eh? Like, bro, that's my kid. Eh? Like, I just stare. Like, sometimes I'm just looking at him, like, bro, that's my kid, dude. Crazy, eh? It's a crazy. Yeah, thing, yeah. I reckon you, mm. you know, you always get told when you're a kid about like you know you don't you you won't understand until you have your own kids and yeah. Like yeah, whatever, like whatever, and yeah, yeah, actually yeah. understand what like what they yeah. mean. It's just like a yeah, feeling. Yeah, starts to make sense. Eh? It starts to make sense how like your parents have like taught you hundred how to become like you know, and and then now you're trying to teach him. So it's it's yeah, it's cool how that, that system that whole cycle works. Mm. No, that's mean, G. That's awesome, bro. Um, I've got a bit of a Q and A here, bro, that we chucked up for right. you. We'll run through these to finish it off. Um, first one, <laughs> and I'll let you guess who said it to what hair product do you use? Whoa, 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 mine hair is natural. <laughs> Why do people always think this hair is fake and that I straighten it? I do not straighten this hair, G. Yo, looking like, looking like the snack I am. <laughs> oh, this, 
I'm just gutted I didn't get a haircut before this potty. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, nah, I use this product called Dark and Lovely. It like straightens my uh-huh. hair out. Um, you like chuck it like it's like hair dye. You put it in this little cup like it's all pre-made and stuff. You mix it up for like you know I don't know. You mix it up maybe like five minutes stirring it, and then like it's you chuck it in your hair. Let it sit in your hair for like about twenty minutes to like thirty minutes, depending on like the burn. As soon as you feel that burn, you just wash it out, and you get the silkiest hair out. Last about three, three to four months. So, Holy sponsored or what? Man, I'm sponsored, bro. No way. No, I'm trying to grow dreads, so I'm like trying to grow long hair and then long hair that looks nice, and then when it's time to dread it up, I can I'll dread it up. Oh, dark and lovely, eh? That's fitting, bro. Dark and lovely. <laughs> dark and lovely, like the shock man. <laughs> <laughs> that was neighbor, though. It. Who was it? <laughs> it's in it. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, that guy wouldn't ask me because he got no heat. <laughs> bro, he, he asked like five questions, G, but I was just like, Yeah, he would. Bro. You can't do the other ones. I know the other ones would be uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. hard and all that. One asks what your real name is between Chalk and something else, but we'll, we'll cut that one out. Um, what do you weigh? I weigh 84 kgs. Oh, stay muscle, baby. Yeah, oh, yeah it's not water. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm probably the, one of the lightest wingers or, yeah, I'm actually the lightest winger, I freaking, in New Zealand. How tall are you? 175, so I'm probably the shortest winger too. <laughs> I'm winning those battles. But how do you find um how do you find Wanganui College? That's the next one. Wanganui City College. Ah, uh, how did I find it? Um, it was interesting. Um, yeah, well, I don't really know what to say really about it. Um, how did I find it? But it was um it was good. You know, it was like one of the one of the schools that um uh, I can't really explain it. Like, yeah. I don't know, it was hard to play rugby, but it was, yeah, I was, I was just legit going to school just to eat my lunch there, really. Mm. <laughs> I'm not surprised. But... <laughs> <laughs> As I do. <laughs> um, I added this one in because I didn't know if it was a joke or, or if someone was being serious, but do you, um, how is it having one nut? Oh, <laughs> oh, so that's the story in itself. No, no, no. I don't have one nut. So obviously you've heard the story about when I got hit in the nut. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. So it was that white kettle. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you were playing that white kettle game. No, I think that was, that was yeah. the year before I went there. Oh, so um, it was Quinn. Quinn, like, need me in the That's right. In the nut, right? And, and, and my nut popped and he's like these little like he's like these little things in, in your nut right and like it popped so like it came out like all the stuff and it was like my whole ball it was like um it was swollen it was swollen obviously i was in hamilton and um, i thought it was my back because like after the game my back was sore and i was like oh and my mom was rubbing my back i was like mom G, my back is like you know i've got some pain G, i need some painkillers anyway Go into the changing rooms, have a shower, and I'm like, look, I locked down, bro, swollen, you like, you know, it's really big, but bro, this was like a <laughs> bowling ball to you, like, you know? I was like, nah, man. So I like quickly jump out of the shower, go to the doctor, I'm like, gee, doc, 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 there's something going on. Like, and then like he rushes me to hospital, go to hospital, get a scan, and then I have surgery for that oh the next morning, like real early, I have this like surgery at like six o'clock. And then the team was leaving at like 11 or something. So I like quickly discharged myself straight out of bro. I was groggy and like left their hospital and came back because we won the um, the shield. So I was like, oh, nah, can't miss this um, homecoming. So <laughs> had to make that flight. But yeah, that's fine. Nah, nah I still have two. I still have two. I still have two. <laughs> I forgot. I, still have two. Yeah, I remember seeing it. Um, yeah. ha- have you indulged in some Castle Street action? Uh, my first year, I did actually. My first, probably my first weekend down, um, I was with uh, Slade McDowell. He took me out. I, was, I, was, I actually was stunned. I was like, 
how is there no police here? Like, this is crazy. Like, people are like, what's this walking through? And my bottle's getting flown. Like, oh, like, gee, you can't be doing this. Like, <laughs> but, like, you know, it was just a normal thing. And I was like, wow. Like, and then, like, couches getting burnt up and stuff. And I'm like, holy, Man, this is actually crazy. It's actually, like, it's actually crazy down there. Like, it's like a different, like, you. You don't experience that probably almost anywhere else, bro. No, I don't. I don't think you do because it's just like no cars are there, and there's just people just like filling that street, and like houses are packed, and like there's different parties, different music going, and bro, it's, it's just like a little competition, really, in that one street. That's a nasty. Imagine living yeah. on. Have you ever lived on that street? <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't want to live there. They would have to pay me to live there, right? <laughs> Um, where, uh, where, where did you want to end up in the world as a kid? I'm assuming it means like, where, like, what did you want to do when you were a kid? Oh, before, oh, yeah, uh, probably a, um, I, I actually really enjoyed, oh, I liked, I, when I was a kid, I used to like watching Discovery, so, like, I, that's how I got into, like, mechanics, or, like, car things, so I actually wanted to be, like, a diesel mechanic, really, for, like, big trucks and stuff like that but obviously that didn't go the way i wanted but um yeah, got, a, got a good lifestyle at the moment but yeah usually yeah just a diesel mechanic really and well, if it wasn't a diesel mechanic probably like a doctor <laughs> could you see me being a doctor i'll be saving lives left right and center oh my god you'd be the serious doctor i've ever seen in my life no way <laughs> left right and center i actually i wanted to be a pilot too you know just fly around Autopilot, autopilot. I can imagine being that kid at school that just wanted to be everything. Like next week, you wanted to be something else. Next week, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're not wrong there. Every, every time a goal sitting, you just write something else. Just see a firefighter drive past and be like, oh, I want to be a firefighter. <laughs> oh, I want to be. <laughs> funniest that you yeah, I'm going to tell you this story. So it's funniest story. So I sat down with my agent and it was like, my family and Bill's family. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're like telling us like what do you guys want to be when you like what do you want to strive for to like what do you want to study when you leave school mm. so obviously i said like i want to do the mechanics course like i've looked at like the polytech and stuff and i want to do this and then vils bro like out of the blue do you like oh so Vils, what, what have you looked at and he's like i want to be a firefighter bro i like, sp- like spat my water out like i was midway through drinking like a cup Bro, I was like, gee, 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 you can't be saying firefighter, G. Like, nah, you ain't no firefighter, bro. bro like, even my foot, like, when I spent my, like, my water, my back in my glass, like, everyone started laughing in the room. Like, that's how, like, you know, we all thought he was taking the puss, but he was serious. Oh, that was the firefighter. Let's <laughs> go. Cool. Firefighter, bro. He'd be the one that's starting the fires. <laughs> but yeah. How, how fast can you have around 100? No, nah, I'm slow. I, I, haven't, I haven't timed myself in ages, but no, nah, I'm slow. What's the fastest? Wait. <sighs> I couldn't tell you, really. Like, I legit couldn't tell you. Like, what's fast? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I'd I, say like 12, 12 seconds, is it? But nah, I don't know if 12. Nah, you're not 12, dude. There's no way. I think that's still quite quick. But yeah, no. Nah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right, me. Good yeah. answer. Um, what's... Oh, that's it, G. <laughs> um, yes, every... Is, thanks for jumping on, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Thank um, you for having me. Is, do, you want, do you want to leave the uh, listeners with one last inspirational quote, G? Oh, you know, being the chalk man, I've got a lot of inspirational quotes just... Just remember when you're out there in the world and uh, remember to put some like a motivational like music behind what I'm going to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want a nice edit. I want a nice edit, you know? Go to. Is it on? I can't hear it. Oh, is it on now? I can't hear nothing. Anyway. <laughs> they can hear it. It's the chalk man here, you know, I'm just leaving with a few words of uh, inspirational, I guess, quotes or wise words. Um, it's just, you know, out there in the world, it's just, 
whoever you want to be, just be. If you set your mind to it, if you set your body and soul, you know, you just you just gotta to strive to be a better person. Remember that. Just be that better person and strive for greatness as, as the young LeBron James said. Peace out, that's the chocolate. Thank you. I'm out. Dude, was that on or was that on? I just hope the music worked because it worked on my side. But <laughs> oh, no, I heard it the first time, but then I couldn't hear it the second time. I was like, I need to, I need to go with that rhythm. I got it on. I got it on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, I'm done. Um, thanks, buddy. Appreciate your time, bro. Nah, nah, sweet ass. Thanks for having me on the new move. Um, we we thanks, can. Al. And Where stuff. can you find me? Uh, it's only Chalk Man. Yeah, that's about it, really. I don't have no Twitter. I don't have no Facebook, really. Yeah. Oh, I do, but, yeah. but it's only Chalk. If you want any, you know, if you want any inspirational like words or what, just hit me up. I'll give you something of the day. But yeah, I'm always your friendly neighborhood Chalk Man. <laughs> Fireman. Fireman, my brother. <laughs>